It's actually scary in here. Oh, it's the goats. They can hear me and they want me. <laughs> but anyway, I know this is a big job and it's probably gonna take me a long time to do it, like days, like over the course of a week. But because today is kind of nice out, warm enough out, I wanna get started and start getting it ready. I wanna take advantage of every warm day that we have, especially because we're expecting baby goats any day now. And I know I'm gonna be a busy girl. Hey, won't you pull me I definitely brought the wrong broom with me. I just grabbed one from the horse barn. And unfortunately, it doesn't, it's not strong enough to sweep well. So it's making my job a little harder. And I am way too lazy to go back and get another one. So one of my dreams for this broom, this barn, this summer is to have some kind of a get together here, some kind of a, bar, a barn party. I think it's so super cool. And as I sweep it, I see how nice the wood is. It's so nice. I'm gonna have to uh, use a finishing brush broom to sweep it again, but it's beautiful in here. And another thing I didn't notice is that they have this cloth tied to this side of the barn so that the wind doesn't come in. I love that. I've actually never been on this side of the barn before, but I love it over here. You guys know that I'm getting a new grandbaby um, this summer and I found out the gender today. I don't know when I'm allowed to announce it and, and say what it is though, so I'll let you guys know. But how cool would it be if we had like a baby shower in the barn? Like, wouldn't that be such a Laura thing to do? <laughs> But anyway, so that's my goal. I want to like try and get it cleaned up a bit, but look at this. That is a pretty big hole going down into the barn. And this is over where our goats are. So this kind of makes it like a bit more drafty for the babies. Once I get it all cleaned up and all swept up and all this hay out of here, which is going to be a big job, um, I'm going to get Sam to come in here and do some a little bit of repair work so that it's a lot safer for everybody involved. I noticed that there's a lot of raccoon poop up here and then something has ripped this cloth on this side that's protecting the barn from wind as well. Hey, won't you pour me another? I'm going in, so wish me good luck. Yeah, gotta put on my favorite song. I need a boost Let's turn up the love Because it's on Right by my side, baby, please To hold me tight 
throughout the night Hey, won't you pour me another? I'm going in So wish me good luck Yeah, I gotta put on my favorite song I need a boost Let's turn up the love Oh, hey, won't you pour me another? One thing that I'm excited about is all this hay that we have in this barn, I'll be able to use in my garden in the spring. I'll be able to use it for like mulch. That's all I got done right now because somebody is ready to do the goats. I brought the wrong broom and it would have been faster for me and better for me had I went and got another one. So I don't know if I saw this before. I do not know what it is. But I really enjoy finding different things up in this barn that I haven't seen yet. That is little Lola. Come on, Ellie. So I will be back. Barn. Let's see who's on the side, other side of this door. Let's see who is on the other side of this door. Wait, they can't see. They didn't get to see. Two blonde bombshells. Oh, oh be honey, careful. Okay? Just her face into the Yeah, wall. that's what you get for being sassy. I'm gonna bring these on, buckets in and clean them. And then because you never know when you're gonna need a good clean bucket. <laughs> what do I do? <laughs> Sylvia's trapped. Look at Gracie, she's so sweet. She's like, oh, work with me. Stop your head. Yeah, stop banging your head. I love these two Palominos. Palominos is my favorite color of horse now. I love paint and Palominos. I like a well, good bay too. I don't got anything else. I have treats in my pocket. I just told Sophie that we have to do our, our goat snails because our last time we did it was January the 9th. Why? When we don't want them to come in, they come in. And when they want, we want them to come in, they know. Come on, baby Lola, get up there. Oh, you're on the wrong side. <laughs> she gets it, she's so smart. The reason she's so smart is because she has not had a mom to protect her and keep her safe. So. She doesn't fit in that thing though. You gotta go fill it, because she can't reach it. I feel like I'm gonna have to find another spot for this. I need to be able to have it against the wall. So that part is against the wall, and so it comes out this way, so that we can sit down on it appropriately. I feel like Santa today. I have a list and I've been checking it twice. I've been checking it a million times because, because our buck Lola. kept getting out early in the season. I, I had to- I hold her leg, she stretches it. I had to record those times that he got out and who was in heat just in case he got to the, to the dough. So I have a bunch of dates written down and next week is officially the first week, the first time the buck got out with our with our older does. So next week should so next week is a potential due date for both of our does, and they're both big. Like if they don't have two and three babies each, two or three babies, then each of them I'll be like shocked. They're so big. But when I go through it, when I actually let the buck with them because I couldn't keep them apart, it's still like another month away. Potentially, our older does can potentially be due like still in another month and they are already looking huge. I'll show you when they come in. But yeah, could you guys imagine another month of them being pregnant? We're gonna have a lot of babies on this farm if that's true. These goats are doing so well. Jumping up on the stand. I know, why'd you let her out? I love bringing them in and I love being able to assess them. How does her udder feel? Stiff. That's good, stiff is stiff is what we want. So It's not like jiggly, like yesterday. So this goat is the only one that I'm fairly certain of her due date and it, she's due uh, today actually. Typically give birth between 140 and 150 days with 145 days being average. Today's 140 days. I know you were excited. You were probably hoping it was like 149 days. <laughs> But I was able to feel her ligaments this morning. I've been doing it. I've been doing it a couple times a day. Can you not annoy her? All right, I may be wrong because 
feeling ligaments is something new to me, but I feel like they're softening. So I dreamed recently, just in the last few days, that I walked into her stall and it was her stall and there was a brown and white baby all fluffy and cute shivering in the middle of the stall just sitting there looking at me. It was all dried off and it was all adorable and I'm, I want a brown and white. You give me a brown and white baby blossom and he's on you. <laughs> what? What color do you want? Her color or yellow. I don't want another brown goat. You want another brown goat? So our buck is... Why do they stretch their legs? Molly, go. So our buck, I don't know if I've ever told you what color he is. He's a gold color. He's like a light gold. He's almost like a tan kind of color. He's all gold, his whole body. He has blue eyes. He's registered. And he has moon spots. Great big, like, liver-colored moon spots. Liver-colored. They're a little darker than his, than his gold fur. So he's gold with blue eyes and moon spots. And he is stunning. So I'm really excited to see what we get. But so I don't know if a, a brown and white baby would even happen because she's not white. I don't know that she has any white in her. Sophie does not want a brown and white baby. Like, I mean, we have her brother who is brown and white, but this one had like so much white and a little bits of brown. Like it looked like a cow almost, brown and white. We're gonna get that from her now. <laughs> yeah, Sophie's I like, don't want it, I so. don't want that. Now we're gonna get it. Why? Uh. They take this opportunity to stretch their back legs. <laughs> Stop, schmuckums. So I want that. And then also um, one of our Buck's babies from last year was gold, like a really beautiful gold. It was a girl, it was a doling and she was gold and she had blue eyes and she had moon spots and she was stunning. And the mom was the same brown color as our brown goat. So as our chocolate goats, I guess they're called chocolate, but yeah. Yes, I want blue eyes. So yeah, we all want blue eyes. Like every one of these babies that are born to us better have blue eyes. <laughs> One blue, one brown. Oh yeah, one blue, one brown. That works for me too. That's super cool. Like that, and she's really cute like that. Cause one of her blue eyes. Oh, hi, We've gotten so good at this right. trimming their feet. We yeah, just yeah, no, come on, we just throw them in a stall when they are done. Oh, no. But I also wanted to make a prediction no. in this video. I think she's having one baby. <laughs> it would not surprise me if she has two, because her mom had twins her first time. And genetics is a big thing, but she actually is starting to look like like she could have twins. But I think she's having one baby. I think she's having one baby. I pray for twins so that they're small and easy to get out. But I think she's having one. Oh, yeah, that's so good. She just bigger than last time we checked. Is it? Yeah. So remember, this goat could be due You're doing the rest. next week, or it could be due in a month. You're doing and the rest this of one this. has bad gas. Ew. <laughs> Why? Every, because we fed them all those grapes yesterday. You're not getting any more grapes. You're gonna rest them in Yeah, we were down here this morning when we did chores, and pee you. We lost a goat. She's lost. Oh my gosh. Tilly, shake the bucket. That is not good. That could mean she's in labor. <laughs> or she's looking for her baby. We left her outside on her own. There's no way she fit through that little opening. Come on, Till. We've been robbed. We've been goat napped. We brought each goat in one at a time, threw them in their stalls when they were done so we could keep track. And now uh, Tilly has run off, or she's hiding someplace to give birth. Once kidding season starts, anything can happen. Do you see her? Huh? Oh my gosh, she's actually missing. What are you doing there, Missy? Come here. Come on, your baby is down here. There? Yeah. Tilly. Penny looks nervous. I hate these gates. And I hate that it's, Penny's trying to shut the gate. <laughs> she, she's gonna be, so this year I'm doing trail with her. I don't care, like that's adorable. I think that's her way of telling me she wants to work with me. But yeah, 
Tilly ran off when she was left alone. <laughs> she ran to be with the horses. Oh, we won't make that mistake again. Alert. She is high alert? She's like, where's my baby? Yeah. Come on, Till. Up here. Come on. Molly, go. Come on, up here. I know. Don't be stressed. We got you. Remember, we gave you grapes. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just the